Hey folks, Harry here for Hardcore Course Updates and Reviews. Tonight I'm going to be doing a review on the Snuff Tape Trilogy, or Anthology, El Gore's Snuff Tape Anthology, which is parts 1, or 0 through 7, and it includes the Lost Snuff Tape. Um, and these are being put out on Sub Rosa Cinema. There's actually a Blu-ray. You can choose from a Blu-ray, which is really cool to have this on Blu-ray. Or limited edition VHS clamshell. And you get a poster, a really cool poster with it, really awesome artwork. Um, if anybody's not familiar with El Gore, um, he does a real lot of sick films. He's a German filmmaker, and he has done a lot of sick films over the years. Um, and this also includes his uh, paraphilia, or paraphilia film, short film. Um, which was re released on Black Lava Entertainment, and he's done a lot of stuff for Black Lava. So when I found out that Ron and El Gore was going to um, do a release on Sub Rosa, I, I was just really excited. I thought that was awesome that, that um, this German splatter film was going to uh, get a U.S. release. So um, really excited. Um, if you guys, I did a review on I think one through five, so um, I'll just do a brief um, review on. Um, on these, on these films, they're real short. They're only about 15 to 20 minutes long each, each one. Um, and there's the nastiest things you can possibly think of that are being done to either rotted corpses, self mutilation, scat, piss, shit, whatever. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, fucking corpse, fucking. You just name it. It's the sickest shit you can possibly imagine is being done to um, corpses. So. If you don't like that kind of stuff, then this isn't for you. It's not for everybody. Um, it makes uh, Necromantic look like a Disney movie. I'm telling you that right now. So um, a lot of people um, will not like this film. This is for extreme fans of um, underground cinema and gore cinema. So um, if you're a fan of that, then you probably want to check this out. Like I said, this is, this is some sick shit. Um, I personally like this kind of stuff, but hey, I guess I'm a sick fuck. But anyways, uh, yeah, it, I got to finally see part snuff tape part six and seven, um, and the lost snuff tape, which were pretty good. And I never got to see that short film uh, paraphilia, or paraphilia um, which was really well done. It was a very polished uh, version of like uh, necromantic, but just with some sick nasty corpse fucking. Um, you know, and it was it was really cool to, to uh, see uh, El Gore. He's a part of my uh, Gore group on Facebook, so it was kind of neat to see him uh, and uh, the actress that plays in Part 7. Uh, she's also in my Gore group. I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. I think it's Elizabeth something. I, I can't remember. I apologize. I forget what your name is. But you did. they just did an outstanding job. Um, she did a great job playing the vi uh, victim in the film. And it was just, uh, you know, just nasty shit. Very, I mean, he does it in an entertaining way. It does it really uh, entertaining. His corpses look really cool. Uh, the gore and the effects are pretty well done for German splatter standards. So um, if you're a fan of that kind of shit and you like El Gore's stuff, check out the Snuff Take Anthology. Um, it has a lot of extras on it and on the Blu-ray. Um, the VHS doesn't have the paraph uh, paraphilia uh, short on it, I don't think. So you won't get that on the VHS, that's only the Blu-ray. And there's only 30 of these made, so better get on these. And uh, I don't know how many Blu-rays there are going to be. So yeah, get on them if you really want them. They're limited, so check them out. That's my review of the Snuff Tape Anthology. Have a gory one.